Hi guys, so I'm super excited for this video. Today we are going to be doing a thrift store haul. And to be honest, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this video. I might just show you like what I actually purchase. And then once my clothing are washed, I might do like a try on for you guys and show you like my new like thrift store outfit. So now that you have an idea of, you know, what the game plan is, let's get to shopping. This lighting is absolutely terrible, but I am leaving the thrift store. You can see it, it got dark outside, and uh, to be honest, I didn't really find much. I pulled out a bunch of clothes and didn't really like much of it on my body type, so that's honestly normally what happens. We are back at the thrift store, um, and it is an entire week later. This is kind of like my hobby. I just like go and look around at the thrift store whenever I'm bored. So I didn't feel like we found very much last week. We're going to go look and see what we find this week, and then, you know... At the end of this video, I'm going to do a little try-on of everything I found at the thrift store, so stick around for that. So it's hit or miss sometimes. I guess we'll just try again next week, and you guys can see, you know, that they, I don't just score all this cool stuff, you know, on one run. No, it takes a couple of tries, okay? Hi, my name is Dana, and I'm about to Marie Kondo my entire wardrobe. So today we're going to the thrift store. I'm about to bring this tripod with me, too, and people are going to look at me weird, but I need some good shots. I don't want to be a weirdo, but I'm concerned for this person. Their keys are right there. Yay, we're here. It says orange. It says orange, but it's green. I spent so long inside the thrift store, it's dark outside, and now I'm hungry. There's apparently a Taco Bell like 0.3 miles away, so I'm going to get some food. I'm starving. I'm fat, so I got three bean and cheese burritos and some fire sauce. So I'm back from the thrift store. We got some loot, but I'm not going to show you guys until after I Marie Kondo all of my belongings. Alrighty, so I'm going to take the entirety of everything I own out of my dresser and put it on bed. And then I'm going to do the same for the closet. It's freaking hot, so I put a t-shirt on, but let's get back to it. This footage was sped up five times, so it actually took me about 10 minutes to gather all of my belongings. I really recommend everyone tries this. It's a clear way for you to see how much you actually own. Oh my god, that's like so much clothes. I'm about to go through this and decide what I'm gonna keep. I've been gone all day, and he has to eat at this very moment when I'm trying to record. Thanks. So as I go through these clothes, I'm gonna pick up each item and decide like if I wanna keep it or not, I'm keeping this one. I think I'm also gonna keep this. I've worn this once and I didn't really like it, I should just get rid of it. I'm gonna give this another chance and hold on to it for a little bit longer. Here you might notice me like pause and hold the clothes to my chest for a minute. It's just me trying to decide if I have an emotional attachment to this particular item. I swear I'm not sniffing my clothing.
not too shabby. Look, that's the keeping pile, and the the getting rid of pile is almost the same size. Woo! Had a couple things I need to try on, like some pajamas and stuff. I'm just gonna put up. I'll be honest, I didn't take like everything out of my closet because some of the stuff I'm just straight up keeping. Like I'm not getting rid of those tie dye shirts that I just made. Duh. And now I have to pull all these clothes, and I don't want to do it. I also really like this method because it does encourage you to get rid of more. I said here that I didn't want to have to fold everything and that's the, the honest truth. The more I got rid of, the less I had to fold, you know, and put back away in my dresser. Everything I got from the thrift store today was one dollar except for a pair of jeans. I got this really beautiful blouse. It's like sheer. This tan or beige tank top, whatever color you want to say it is. A ribbed tank. Again, I just like these earthy tones. This one is really cool. Look at the embellishments on the front of that. Woo! I get all these tops for $1. Another tank. Getting ready for summer. Spring's coming. This one's really cool. This is actually from Calvin Klein, so I thought this shirt was trippy. And then I paid $7 for these jeans. I actually needed a pair of pants, so I was willing to pay, you know, a couple bucks for them, but jeans are expensive, guys. If you ever paid attention to the price of a brand new pair of jeans, they're like 20 bucks. Alrighty, let's pop some tags and get these in the wash. This is probably like the nerdiest flex, but I love my washer and dryer set. The clothes just finished washing, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the dryer. So here I am in the rib tank top and the jeans I got from the thrift store. I'm going to show you guys how many outfits I can make with $13 and how you can easily build up on a simple outfit like this. If you're not into like the tight rib tanks, you can always, you know, layer your clothing. Here I've got the uh, rib tank and the beige tank top. With a beige bra, I think this shirt actually looks cute on its own, but watch this. It has a cute layered effect if you uh, put the sheer shirts over top of it. Look, this is like got cute little cutouts and it's even a little exposed right here in the front. This shirt is originally from Calvin Klein and I'm just absolutely in love with it. So this is the rib tank with the blue sheer shirt. I really like this combination too. So here's that tank with that like wild pattern. But watch this. I have to be a little bit closer to the camera for you guys to see it, but I think that this blue sheer shirt looks really cute layered with the uh, wild pattern shirt also. 
I'm covering the address up here at the top, but just in case nobody believes me, look. Thirteen nine 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 was the total. A dollar seven was tax, so our subtotal was under thirteen dollars. So there you have it. That's seven outfits for thirteen dollars. I'm honestly impressed by my thrifting skills. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps the channel out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.